Hi Virgo, it's Elle here to do uh, your March 2019 general messages. Will not resonate with everyone, but if it does resonate with you, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Thank you to those who have done so already. Uh, I apologize for my hiatus, but I do have a life and a business that I run. Okay, so let's get started. All right, so I hope that Virgo is having a really good 2019. Okay. I know that I am. Let's get started. So what's the situation for Virgo? What's the situation? Okay. What's the advice for Virgo? What's the advice for Virgo? How does the other person feel? The person that you're coming to the reading for? What's the outcome for Virgo? What's the outcome for Whoa. Okay, we'll take them. Three came out for the outcome. The bottom of the deck, deck, the Jack of Clubs. Um, a reliable friend. Someone you can confide in. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising. Um... Someone who takes action, someone who may be in and out all over the place, but a reliable friend here, okay? okay. All right, so the situation is for Virgo, nine of spades, wow. You are experiencing a high level of anxiety and or pain, suffering, maybe of the heart, the mind, the 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 emotions you are without you are in separation from you are apart from or you or there is an ending or you feel there's an ending maybe with an air sign gemini libra aquarius sun moon rising doesn't have to be um there might be an impending ending here you know that like this is right before the end the ten of swords you know so this is causing a high level of anxiety this hasn't this doesn't happen overnight this is gradual this is i know that I'm not happy, but I'm staying here. But now it's just to a place of maybe where the person you even live with, cohabitate with, or are in relationship with, you guys are not even maybe in the same room, but there's distance, there's separation there. Okay. All right. The advice for the Virgo is the Ace of Clubs. Nice. Have the motivation to embark on and grow in a positive way your health wealth and happiness what it what is it that you desire that you want you need to have the motivation to grow it to move it forward your health wealth and happiness lies in 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 lieu in the brink of you know okay the person that you came to the reading for, I feel the two of diamonds. Everybody's getting the two of diamonds here, or in the overall energy. Wow, everybody's contemplating. This could be a love affair or a business relationship that just is not favorable. It's just not going to work out. It's not working. This is where you have two very real options, and you're weighing them up. Somebody's getting more attention than the other, but you still have the other in your hand, in your mind. This is trying to balance, trying to play both parts. Trying to keep two very real things alive with either physically or in your heart or in your mind. This is what do I do? You instinctually, intuitively know what to do or what to choose. It's just hard. And that's why you're here. Okay. The outcome. 
I might need to rely on this friend, a reliable friend. Could be a family member too. Queen of Spade, Queen of Clubs, Seven of Hearts. Okay. So for my Virgo men, there are two women in your life. The one that you're obligated to, the one that's on the outside that you may have hurt before. The one who yields the sword, the sword of truth. If you come to her, you know that you have to be truthful. You are, Virgo men, maybe the cheating spouse. The person who makes promises just to break them. Broken promises here. You are weighing up two very real options. Let's see. Let's clarify what's going on with my Virgos. This could be a Virgo woman too. Doesn't have to just be the men. Nine of Spades. Give me one card. All right. Page of Wands. A message. You want to give a message, or you you have received, or you want to give a message of going in a new direction, a passionate message. Let's do this because I'm doing that. Or let's do this because this has happened. It's also a lot of times conditional. Or it's an if then. You know, I don't know. You could be dealing with someone who's younger than you who likes to dress well. Sometimes this comes off as a Gemini. Ace of Clubs. What's the advice here for the Ace of Clubs? Two of Swords. Wow. Choices. Definitely. You are deciding to stay blindfolded in regards to a decision that needs to be made. If then, if this other person that I really want to be with feels the same way, then I will let situation A go to go to B. If then, situa see, if you're going to make a decision, you make a decision for you and not because you have something waiting in the wind or waiting in the wings for you. Um, you only do that when it's in regards to maybe a job or something. I'm not going to leave my job until I have another one, right? But I'm not going <laughs> to say I'm not going to leave my relationship till I have another one. That's very telling of your personality. Maybe a bit of narcissism, social path type of situation there. Um, you can't have if then situations on love and it looks like a situation where there might be some type of love uh, some type of commingling intermingling third party situation love affair um, you're choosing to stay stuck and not make a decision because you don't know how another person feels and your decision depends on another person and blah 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 and so forth and so forth two of Two of diamonds is two of diamonds. What do you have to say for the two of diamonds? Okay, all these cards fell out. We're not going to take them all. Okay. I'm going to put them back. All right. Two of diamonds. Two of diamonds. What do you have to say for the two of diamonds? Thank you, Lord. Ten of spades. Ten of swords. So definitely the nine and the ten, your partner. The person you come to the reading for feels like this is a love affair. This is just a, a situation where it's just not favorable. Nobody wins. The ultimate, the ending needs to happen. We need to let it burn. It hurts. Let's let it burn. Um, somebody wants out of a, a third party situation could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Knight of Pentacles. Wow, is this Virgo or is this? It's gonna be in the midst of them 
ending it, walking away, or maybe you ending something. I don't know. The Knight of Pentacles, somebody wants to offer something solid and stable. Let's build, let's grow. It's taken a long time. Page of Pentacles, wow. They want a real relationship. They want to apologize. They want to build on something. Clarify the outcome here. Is this someone getting found out? Not the hermit. Okay. Got a nine here. Someone's going within in regards to maybe a woman or man that they're obligated to. Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. They Virgo may be the cheater. They may have someone on the outside. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Seeking help and expert expertise. Looking at the past. Trying to gain closure in regards to knowing that, that an ending is impending here. It, it, it's here. Mama. Hesitating before making a decision. Crying over what is already lost. Knowing that there is a real relationship on the outside. Two of sword, Two of Cups. The Three of Cups. You having two parties. Virgo or vice versa. Someone having that in regards to you. Um, it doesn't serve the narrative. It doesn't fit anymore. Um, so they must be content with uh, the two of cups. The successful relationship that either needs to be expounded upon, uh, expounded upon or they need to fix the one that they're in. So there's something outside and there's something in. Which way is Virgo going? There is significant change. Um, emotional hardship within an established relationship. There's someone given to two parties. This could be Virgo. Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Uh, giving to two parties. Somebody's getting less than the other, but there's still someone divided. They need to make the choice. Which party will be my main and only party? Seven of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Someone got blocked. Or someone's blocking something out. Okay. Let's see what the angel answers have to say for Virgo. The outcome is Virgo needing to make a choice. Hesitating before making a decision. Going within. Virgo is with in separation from maybe another Virgo. Um, in separation from someone who they really want to be with. Virgo is trying to weigh up a situation they're already in, maybe with another person. The other person is very apologetic about something or something. It's somehow they want to continue to establish, you know, what they have going with you, Virgo. Okay. Let go. There's something better. Wow. Okay. Wow, Virgo. These cards just popping out opportunity and choose a new direction wow this is like the same message in four different cards right if you believe okay so virgo will leave you with three cards of advice from the tarot choose a new direction whatever you've been stuck to choose a new direction virgos and cancers have a hard time letting go it's just even when it's just bad you know, opportunity is here. There's something better. Let go. Choose a new direction. All right. 
Let's see. What are, what are the three cards of advice you have for Virgo? If you feel like this message resonated with you, for you, or surrounding you, um, go ahead and click that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Um, this month, we will not have extended readings, but I'm offering you um, the opportunity to get a yes or no question answered. It will be $5. To get um, an extended reading is $1.75. It's still general. This will be tailored to you in your yes or no question. It must be yes or no. If it's long-winded, if it's eight different questions wrapped up in one, your $5 will be refunded. We're not going to do that. Okay, so it needs to be like, will this person contact me? That's the yes or no. Should I contact this person? Um, should I let go of my relationship? Um, is my husband, is my wife cheating? You know, yes or no question, all right? Take advantage of that. Five dollars. You spend that at Starbucks. I know I do. I'm cutting back on that. Okay, three. The Hierophant. Wow. This then I say that there's like someone has changed, significant change in an established union, established relationship. The Hierophant, someone you could be dealing with a Taurus. No. Okay. The Hierophant. Wow, the Two of Swords again. You are failing. You are willingly staying blind in this situation. Like, you are like, okay. I know. I know that I need to make a decision. But I will not do so. I am hesitating before doing so. Seven of Swords, Two of Swords, Nine of Swords. Back at the Nine of Swords. Having high anxiety about this whole situation, but doing nothing about it. Maybe even sneaking around or trying to devise a plan and action. Ten of Wands um, says let go. Uh, stop carrying a burden that you've chosen to carry. Let it go. Let an ending happen. So that maybe the Ace of Wands, right? The Ace of Clubs here can happen. You can start to focus on your health, wealth, and well-being, okay, and happiness. Um, there's change within your union, and you know it, okay, instinctually, intuitively, knowing that you need to make a decision. You have several two, twos here. The high priestess governs the twos, okay. All right, so um, you may also need to make a plan of action that you keep to yourself. Uh, all right, so if you feel like this resonates, go ahead and... Purchase that $5 yes or no question. Um, I hope that this gave you a bit of clarity about your situation. Now that I'm praying for you, Virgo, pray for me as well. Take care, guys.